Welcome to Virtual Kids Cook. These classes are usually taught by teachers at the University of Nevada, Reno Extension, but we're mixing things up and having kids teach kids right here. We hope you will learn some basic cooking skills you can use to make delicious and nutritious recipes at home. Feel free to watch the whole video all the way through before trying to make the recipe or follow along and pause the video whenever you need to so you can make the recipe with us. Let's get started. What's up guys, it's Taylor and we're back with another fun summer recipe. Last week we made infused water and talked about hydration. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. This week we're going to be making colorful summer popsicles. I'll be making one recipe and my friend Chloe will be making the other two. Just like last time, you want to get it wet first. Get some soap and scrub in between and around and everywhere. Make sure you get it really good. You just want to scrub for about 20 seconds or the count of the ABCs. last time um, because we are cutting into the shell or the outside and um, it will carry the bacteria throughout the fruit which is what we need. Okay, next we're gonna be needing a blender. And in our blender, first we're gonna blend up our watermelon because that's the first thing that's gonna be going into the popsicle mold. So I have, because my chunks are bigger, I might have to blend this a few different times. Like in different rounds is what I mean. So, I would say, let me push it down just a little bit. Be very careful if you do push it down because those blades are very sharp. We want it to become totally liquefied. Um, it is really liquidy just because mine was very juicy, but I'm gonna be adding some, you could just add regular water or coconut water, which is, this is original, and this is also pineapple. I think I'm going to be adding the pineapple coconut just to spice up the flavor a little bit. It's not going to add too much of a different flavor, but it smells pretty good. But it will just add a little bit of pizzazz, I guess. <laughs> Mine is all blended, and I did add that coconut pineapple juice to it to make it even more liquidy. It was really good decision because now it's really juicy and there's no chunks or anything like that. Pour this into the measuring glass. And we only need about two cups of it. So this I'm going to go pour into another glass and I'll be right back. And the reason why we're using all fruits for these popsicles is because fruits give you nutrients and vitamins and it sweetens your popsicle naturally 
and it, and it allows you to limit how much sugar you really need because for my recipe um, I'm not adding any extra sugar because there's nothing sour in here and sometimes kiwi might be a little bit bitter but the watermelon will really sweeten it up Our blender is all washed out and we put our watermelon juice in here and if you prefer you can strain out um, some of the like pulp and seeds but I didn't because I like mine in there because I just think it adds a very fresh taste to it so next we're gonna be adding our kiwi and that's the four kiwis that I had chopped up different ways And because this one is definitely thicker than the watermelon one, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of regular coconut juice because I don't really want a pineapple taste to the kiwi. So, just a little bit. Oh, smells good. We just want it really liquefied so it really freezes nicely and it's just very smooth when we are tasting our vegetables. Good. Ooh, it smells so good. Mm. <laughs> it smells like kiwi. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna pour this into a smaller measuring glass and I'll be right back. Okay, now that both fruits are blended up, we are going to take our different popsicle molds and shove them in this tray. So I have a few silicone popsicle molds, which are these ones, these two, and then they come with little lids too just got these from the store but also if you don't have those you can just use dixie cups which are just these little paper clip paper cups and spoons so when we're assembling our popsicles what we want to do is we want to take one i'm going to set our cups out because we do want to leave enough room for our kiwi. So next we're going to be adding our spoons in there, just like this. And they're not gonna stand up straight, so I'm just letting them hang out to the side. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for about an hour and I'll be back. I pulled my popsicles out of the freezer after about an hour and then I added the kiwi in and I put them back in the freezer and they froze for about four hours and now they're done. So this is what they look like, just like that. And I think it's time to take them out of the mold. So let's start with our silicone ones. Put them all. Ooh, this is what this one looks like. Looks really pretty, actually. Okay, let's pop out this one. Ooh, Ooh that one's cool. It's like a little pineapple, and you can actually see the little, like, diamonds. Okay, and let's try our Dixie Cup, cup ones. So I'm gonna make a little slip with my scissors like this, and Oh, it just comes off really easily. I'm just twisting it around and it's coming off. Just push it up a little bit and it popped right out. <laughs> it's really cool. It looks like a watermelon. <laughs> and it's funny because there's real watermelon in them. So this is how they're all gonna look. Okay, I think it's time to try it. I'm gonna try this one. Mmm, it's actually super good. I love eating popsicles on a hot summer day and these are perfect because they're all natural and no artificial sweetener. I'm so happy with the way our popsicles turned out. They're really healthy and a really easy snack to do. 
when we're eating fruits and vegetables, we wanna to try to eat the rainbow. Like red in the rainbow, we have watermelon. And green, we have our kiwi. Uh, the other colors are like blue and purple. We could eat blueberries, grapes, and blackberries. And like orange and yellow, a lemon or an orange, just like this one. But for the white and brown, which will be a little bit harder, there is cauliflower for vegetables and bananas, like the inside. And Chloe, do you like our popsicles? Hi, Tailua. Yes, I love these popsicles too. Hey everyone, my name is Chloe. These popsicles are a great way to get our daily cup of fruit that our bodies need. This is my plate place mat and it shows all the food groups that we should be eating each and every single day. We have our vegetables, fruits, grains, protein, and dairy. Fruits are great for us and we can tell a fruit is a fruit because it has three things. Seeds, skin, and pulp. Today, I'll be making two different types of popsicles a lemon blueberry popsicle, and a strawberry watermelon popsicle. Let's take a look at our recipe and see what ingredients we will need today. For our first recipe, our lemon blueberry popsicle, we are going to be using canned pineapple, but you can use fresh if you want, honey, two lemons, and blueberries. I want you to take a look at the color of these blueberries. It's dark blue, and I love it. For our second recipe, our strawberry watermelon popsicle, we're gonna be using one lemon, watermelon, and 10 strawberries. And look at the color of those strawberries, they're dark red, and I also love that very much too. And if you remember what we talked about, our seeds, skin, and pulp thing with the fruit, our strawberries have seeds on the outside of them. So first, we're gonna wash our strawberries. So let's put all of our strawberries in this colander. Now, last time, Tailua already showed you how to cut up the watermelon. So mine's already cut up. Now we're going to wash our lemon. And the reason why we wash our lemon is so that when we cut it, we don't get any germs and bacteria inside our lemon. Also, make sure you get all the stems off of the blueberries. So while we're finding those, I want to tell you guys a little joke. What do you call a sad strawberry? Blueberry. Get it? Because it's blue. So, I found one stem so far. I'm gonna get another one. This, this might take a while. So make sure you get all of them. Okay, I think I got all of the stems, so now we're gonna put all of our blueberries back on this paper towel to dry. Now we're going to wash our lemons, obviously the outside of them, just like last time. And now we're going to put our colander over the sink. Since we are using canned pineapple, we don't need all that liquid, so we're going to drain it out. So there are three ways that you can juice a lemon, but I'm, going to, I'm only gonna be using two ways. So the first way is you can put the lemon in here, push it down, and the lemon juice will come out through those holes. You can also use this way, where you take the lemon, push down hard, squeeze it, and turn it. Or you could just use the old-fashioned way. So I'm gonna be using the old-fashioned way and this way. So we're gonna take our lemon, I'm gonna push down hard. And we're gonna turn it. And make sure you also squeeze your lemon. Now, we're gonna do it with the other one. And also, what's great about this method I'm using right now is that it collects all the seeds for you. So you don't have to take any seeds out. Now, we're just going to use this way. 
the old fashioned way and squeeze it. Both ways are easy. You can use whichever method you want, but I chose these today. Okay, so now we're going to blend all of our ingredients. So first, let's put our pineapples in the blender. Now, we're going to measure our tablespoon of honey. So let's pop the top off, and let's fill it all the way up to the top. Okay, now I'm gonna put that in the blender as well. It's a lot, I overfilled it, but it's okay. And now we're going to put our lemon juice in the blender. And we're not blending our blueberries. Okay, so now we are going to start on our popsicles. We're going to make them. So as you can see, I didn't have any molds at home. So I just used the cups, which are the things that I had around the house. I only had two popsicle sticks at home. So since I only had two, I am using a spoon also. I also put little pieces of fruit at the bottom of each cup. So we could stick our popsicle sticks and our spoon into them. And now we're going to stick them in there. So let's stick our popsicle stick in this one. Now let's stick our spoon in this one. And we're gonna put this one after because this cup has a top and I cut a little slit in there for the popsicle stick. So we're gonna wait for this one. Now let's sprinkle some blueberries in there. I'm only gonna put four. Okay, so now that we have all of our blueberries in each one, we're going to pour our mixture in there. So make sure you're very careful. Now we're gonna sprinkle some more blueberries. So I'm just gonna put actually the same amount like last time, six. And let's put these in the freezer. Okay, so let's check out our popsicles. I left this one in the freezer for three hours now, let's taste it. So let's take our lid off. Let's take it out. And I ran water over this one, so I already did that, so that's why I can already take it out. Oh, this is actually really good. And what I like about it is it's healthier, so we can make it more often instead of getting regular popsicles. And this actually counts as a serving of fruit. What's good about this is Pineapple has lots of vitamin C, keeps you healthy, fights off infection, and helps with healing. Blueberries, the blueberries in this popsicle, also have lots of vitamin C and vitamin K, which helps with blood clot clotting. <laughs> it also has nutrients that help your body work efficiently. Some people call blueberries a superfood. Okay, so now let's make our strawberry watermelon popsicle. So first, we're gonna have to put our watermelon in. So let's put that in, in our blender here. So now, I'm gonna show you how to get the stem out of the strawberries. So we're gonna use a straw. We're gonna put our straw at the bottom of the strawberry. We're gonna poke it all the way through. And there you go, the stem pops up. And you can take the stem out. And I've already done that with the rest of the strawberries, so I'm just going to put them in there. And I already squeezed or juiced my lemon, so now I'm going to pour the lemon juice in the blender. Okay, so I already made the other two popsicles, and I got a mold from a friend. 
So I'm gonna show one more popsicle to pour. I already had my popsicle stick, got my little piece of fruit in there, and stuck that in the fruit. Now I'm going to take my mixture and pour it in our cup. Okay, now we can put this in the freezer and we're ready to go. Okay, so another thing I also wanted to tell you about this popsicle we're making is that watermelon is actually one of my favorite fruits and me and my grandmother have it every other day for breakfast. Also, for our health about this popsicle, strawberries have vitamin C, which keeps you healthy, fights off infection, and helps with healing. And has potassium, which helps regulate your blood pressure and helps our muscles. Watermelon has vitamin C too and vitamin A, which helps your skin and eye health. Okay, so these are the popsicles that I borrowed from a friend, our mold that I borrowed from a friend, and they're penguins. Look how cute they are. I just took these out of the freezer. Now I'm going to taste them. They're actually really good. Back to you, Talua. I hope you enjoyed making our recipe today. And to test your knowledge, go ahead and try out the Kahoot.